Hey, hey, this is Michael J., one of the Boca Brothers. Welcome to the YouTube channel, and today we're going to be talking about the Oldsmobile 88. Yeah, this uh, this car, the actually the first generation of Oldsmobile 88, uh, came out in 1949. Yeah, it introduced one of the first post-war overhead valve V8 designs, the famous Rocket V8. This is the story of the Olds 88. Mind if I ask a few personal questions? Go right ahead. I hear you're really high-powered. Is that right? Yes, ma'am. I have that famous rocket engine. Real high compression power. The second generation Oldsmobile was introduced in 1954 and were completely restyled with new longer and lower body shells on the GMB platform with the new one-piece wraparound windshields and rear windows. Base models reverted to being simply called the 88s after being designated as a Deluxe 88 for only one year and the Super 88 was once again the top series beneath the larger 98. The Rocket V8 was enlarged from a 303 cubic inch to a 324 cubic inch with 88s powered by a two-barrel carburetor. Also, a safety padded dash became optional at $17, which is $175 in today's money. The 1955 models were heavily facelifted with new grille work, taillights, and body side chrome. Horsepower for the 324 cubic inch Rocket V8 increased to 185 for the 88s and 202 for the Super 88s. For 1956, styling highlighted included a new split grille in front and revised taillights and deck along the revised side chroming. A new four-speed Jetaway Hydromatic was introduced this year to replace the original Hydromatic transmission that Olds had used since the 1940s. The third gen 88 was released in 1957. Only the basic 88 was officially named Golden Rocket 88, taken from the Oldsmobile's 1956 Motorama two-passenger show car. The 1958 model is best known in Oldsmobile as the year of the chrome mobile, thanks to the tremendous splattering of chrome trim on the body, particularly on the higher-priced Super 88 and 98 models. The new old is alive with bright ideas. Bright new styling concepts, as you can see in this glimpse of the front end design for 59. For the fourth generation, all Oldsmobiles were completely restyled for 1959, with the 88 series given longer, lower, and wider styling on a GMB body chassis. The 88 shared its appearance with the top model Oldsmobile 98. Styling highlights for the new models promoted as the linear look. They included six window styling on four door pillared sedans glassy semi-fastback roof lines on holiday coupes and flat blade roof lines with thin windshield and C-pillars on holiday sedans which created a large open greenhouse effect. I don't know about you, but I wasn't really into the fourth gen Oldsmobiles, uh, or really for that matter, the early 60s. Not all, but there was a few that I just didn't really get into. What do you think? Leave us comments below and let us know what the best gen is for the Oldsmobile cars or the early 60s. Did you have one? We want to know. You'll discover that by every measure, Olds is the smart buy. And you'll be especially interested in Oldsmobile's dollar-saving Dynamic 88. The fifth generation included an all-new body and chassis with perimeter guard beam frame and all-coil suspension, replacing the previous leaf spring highlighted in the 1961 full-size Oldsmobile. All full-sized Oldsmobiles were now powered by the 394 cubic inch Rocket V8, with the Dynamic 88 getting a two-barrel, 250 horsepower that used regular gas. The Super 88 was powered by a four-barrel, ultra-high compression 394 Skyrocket V8 rated at 325 horsepower. For 1962, the Oldsmobile 88 received a second-year facelift that included a revised grille and front bumper. 1963 brought about GM's across-the-board adoption of the straight-angle windshield A-pillar on all full-size production vehicles, eliminating the unusual 1961 through 62 reverse-curve treatment. 
The Sharp Edge theme continued for 1964. Oldsmobile's full-sized cars received a minor facelift that included revised trim, grills, and taillights. 1964 was also the last year for Oldsmobile to offer the full-sized station wagons until the 1971 model year. The configuration, Delta. Jet powered Delta. And this, Oldsmobile's Delta. The completely new Delta 88. The sixth generation for 1965 introduced the line of dynamic 88s, replacing the previous top series B-body holes, the Super 88. Few styling changes other than the revised grills and tail sections marked the 1966 full-size Oldsmobiles. More rounded styling cues marked all 1967 Olds 88 models, which received longer hoods and shorter decks and more sweeping fastback roof lines on 88 Holiday Coupes to emulate the styling of Ohl's front-wheel drive flagship, the Toronado. For 1968, the overall design was a carryover. The 1969-88 series dropped the Delmont name, leaving the Delta 88 as the base model of the series. Only detailed changes were made for the 1970 full-sized Oldsmobiles, including a new split grille that no longer extended to surround the headlights and a slightly revised rear section. He's smart. He saved on a garden tractor in the fall, saved on skis in March, and now he's saving big on a year-end deal on a new Oldsmobile, a big Delta 88 with G-Ride. Power the seventh generation introduced a completely restyled full-size GM body for 1971, but continued to ride on a 124-inch wheelbase. Also all new for 1971 was the Custom Cruiser Station Wagon, the first full-size Oldsmobile wagon since 1964. Engine offerings again included a 350 and 455 cubic inch rocket V8 ranging from 250 horsepower to 340 gross horsepower. For 1973, wider and lower split waterfall grills flanked a new federally mandated 5 mile per hour front bumper on all Delta 88 models and larger one-piece rounded rectangular taillights replaced the four segmented lights of 1972. In 1974, a 5 mile per hour rear bumper was added and taillights reverted to a four segment design similar to 1972 and the front grills were narrowed and raised to hood levels similar to the 1971 through 1972 models. Changes for the 1975 included revised grills and taillights along with the new rear quarter windows for pillared and holiday sedans. The final year for the seventh generation was 1976. All Olds 88s received revised grille work, rectangular headlamps and parking lamps directly below instead of in the bumper. Delta 88 Royale models were also getting spring-loaded stand-up hood ornaments. When you test drive the new Oldsmobile Delta 88, you'll notice four important things. Notice the efficient new design. The improved head and rear leg room. And this smooth ride is a result of a computer designed suspension. And the eighth generation introduced the 1977 Delta 88. This model, along with the other GMB body cars, were considerably downsized from their predecessors in length and wheelbase. For 1978, a Holiday 88 Coupe was added to the lineup, featuring strato bucket seats along with console and floor sifter, super stock wheels and two-tone paint schemes. The 1979 model year saw the addition of a new Delta 88 Royale Brom series, which included plush pillowed seat trim similar to the 98. For 1980, all 88s got new and more aerodynamic sheet metal for improved fuel economy, highlighted by rounded square taillights similar to mid-70s 88s. The 1982 model year saw only trim changes for Delta 88, Royale, and Royal Bro models. For 1984, all Delta 88s were now Royale or Royal Brome models. Only minor changes marked the 1985 model, which was in its last year before a major downsizing. Why change a good thing? 
That's what I asked when Oldsmobile redesigned the Delta 88. Oh, then I drove it. Wait till you see how it handles. It's front-wheel drive, too. The ninth generation brought in the 1986 Delta 88 Royale. It switched platforms from the GMB platform to the smaller front-wheel drive H platform. The headlights changed from square sealed beam quads to integrated regular high beam composite lamps in 1987. For 1988, rear shoulder belts were added and anti-lock brakes became an option. For 1989, the Delta name was dropped, as was the hood ornament, leaving the model to simply become the 88, now spelled out instead of using the number 88. The 88 Royale was given a mild facelift in 1990, eliminating the former chrome grille for a body-colored fascia with four slots and the Oldsmobile Rocket logo. 1991 was the last year for the coupe and the last year for this generation 88. The Oldsmobile 88 was redesigned for 1992, following the redesign of the 98 in the previous year. To commemorate the 50th anniversary of the 88 and 98 nameplate, Oldsmobile offered a special 50th anniversary edition of the 1999-88. The last Oldsmobile 88 was manufactured on January the 6th, 1999. Well, hey, that about wraps it up on the Delta 88. You know, I owned a Delta 88. It was my mother's. It was a 1985-88. Yeah, I was poor back in the day didn't have any money, but my mom gave me the car because I rolled over my van. Thank you very much. Hey, if you like this video, leave us a thumbs up and uh, subscribe and hit that bell for future notifications. This is Michael J with the Boker Brothers. Thank you for watching the Boker Brothers YouTube channel.